secondary fluids. So we can use glycol and other fluids to do the work of heat transfer. In this case, this is the chiller end of a glycol rack and it's going over to the pump station and down to the store. So that's just essentially a big chiller over there, a big heat exchanger. The typical stuff you'd see on a hydronic system, pumps, pump controller, all that good stuff. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see in these rooms. Everything is not great to stand back and film from far away, but there you go. You got some pumps, a couple drives, all the controls for that pumping station. And that's all the medium temperature stuff. It's got a glycol solution. There you can see what the freeze point supposedly is, if you believe the Sharpie. Got some extra glycol. There's another view of the heat exchangers. So if we look down here, we got a couple electronic valves feeding them as I walk right past. So if you look on the discharge side too, we're also putting the discharge heat into the glycol and using that for the reheat coil in the air conditioner. So you can see all the piping associated with that. It's hard to get a good look. Like I said, we're so up close, but there, there's the discharge gas going in. And this side is the glycol going through the pump. So there's our little circulating pump for our glycol heating loop for the reheat coil. All the stuff you'd expect to see, that's just a little constant volume pump. And those pipes are going down there and out to the air conditioner. So walking out onto the roof and I love making these videos for you guys so much that I'm getting rained on to do it. We're walking past the normal condenser there and over to, I believe this is a main store AC at this store. So they have this unit for the sales floor and then they have a few other small ones. Yeah, that's how this store was. This is a uh, Daikin McQuay. Opening it up, there's our lines coming back in. Up there, run, you know, underneath the roof line and back through the bottom of the unit. So we're going to open this section up now. Getting my, my trusty pry bar out. Fighting the static pressure of the unit. There's the reheat coil, the standard evaporator coils to the right. And in this section is where your three-way valve is to modulate the flow through that coil. So you got a Blimo actuator on the back. Okay, here's another heat exchanger on the rack, and this is for the warm fluid defrost because we also throw discharge gas in the in the glycol solution for defrost. There again in that mess of piping, we use that little brace plate heat exchanger and discharge gas to warm up some of the return glycol, the glycol coming back, and we can send that down to the cases that need it when defrost needs to occur. And if you walk down the other end of the rack, you can see where that's gonna get pulled off the return glycol, so the warmest glycol, and then it's coming back there, and it's got its own pipe to go down to the cases. And one day we'll get the valves that make that happen. Now I'm throwing this in here because it's um, relevant. So there's a three-way valve back there on the discharge line, and we can also use the discharge gas to heat up water for hot water in the store. So we're looking at some of those three-way valves there. This one over here is coming up and over. And over and down. Eventually, you can see there, water heat reclaim to our heat recovery tanks for our hot water. Also, in the future, we'll cover using CO2 as a secondary it doesn't have to be just glycol, but that's a story for another day. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to hvacrschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.